For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. This most popular of all scriptures has been used by various men in the Christian world to teach two completely different opposite theologies. On one hand, there are those who say that this verse teaches that whoever just simply believes that Jesus is the Son of God has salvation, has assurance of that salvation, and that that salvation can never be lost. On the other side, there are those who teach that this verse teaches only the possibility of salvation and escape from eternal damnation because of what God did for us. The reality is that the truth lies somewhere in the middle here. And we must keep this beautiful verse in its context. Jesus is talking to Nicodemus, a Jew who has come to him from darkness, seeking truth. And Jesus is explaining to him that life comes through putting faith and trust in the only begotten Son of God. When we look at verse 15, we see here that Jesus says, whoever believes in him has eternal life. Now, believes here comes from the Greek word to mean put our faith and trust in. And it's a present active participle. It really means those who are putting their trust in Christ, those who are presently putting their faith and trust in Jesus have eternal life. They already have it. They have assurance of it. Why? Because they are putting their faith and trust in him. Why? Because God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, his only begotten, that whoever is putting his faith and trust in him has eternal life. Not will have, not hopes to have, the Greek is very specific here. It is present tense. He has it now and will not see death. When we look at the very last verse of this chapter, we find John the Baptist echoing the same teaching that whoever puts their faith and trust in him, whoever is putting his faith and trust in in the Son has eternal life. But he who does not obey the Son, ah, there's the key. You see, putting your faith and trust in him means being obedient to his will. And if we today are putting our faith and trust in Christ, that is, if we are being obedient to him, if we're, as John writes later in 1 John chapter 1, walking in the light, as he is in the light, then we have salvation. But those who have never put their faith and trust in him, who aren't putting their faith and trust in him, they're in darkness and they will never see the light. What a beautiful verse that teaches if we are putting our faith and trust in Jesus, we have assurance that when this life is over, we will live with him forever. Blessed assured